<laughs> well, the Jeff is Ladders, still my current all time favourite one. And I've been finding uh, well, about another dozen samples of them in my collection. One of the only problems I discovered as a kid, and they knew about it, was the fact that as you are bending it over, your fingers get in the way and it jams and stops the, the ribbons from meeting, so it doesn't work. You've got to be an adult, to almost very sophisticated, to learn to hold it very much on the fingertips, and then it works. So a way around the problem was this one here, and I've got two, two examples, this one, and I'll show another one in the next video, but this makes it very easy for a small child to learn to do it. All you've got to do is just move the handle back and forward. Much, much easier. It's still going to be fun when they learn eventually to hold it by the fingertips, the tips of the fingers, and it will work that way as well. But in the meantime, when they're first starting out, that's a good way of ha having a, it's more like having a learner sign on it, a learner with that to help you. Yes, so, you know. so these ones uh, haven't got handles, but they're very nice ideas. This is a particularly nice set, which came out about 20 years ago from a British company, um, Bliss or something they call themselves. They're very nice because what I like about it is the roundness there. The point is these things roll round, and that rolling action is much nicer with a curve to it rather than straight. And there's, there's ribbons there which are um, clear plastic, one on this side, two on that side, and so on. Let's see what happens when the picture changes. That's so far a troop of monkeys all hanging down from each other turns into another jungle scene, which is a giraffe. It's nice, isn't it? These ones are all muddled up now, of course. Good again, we'll find the monkeys are back to normal and it's a giraffe who's in trouble. <laughs> so, a very nice design there. I haven't seen it reproduced any since then. This is going back 30 years or something. So, the company who's made it really are something. I've got two more to show. The particularly nice one here is um, promoting London as a tourist place when it finally opens up again after all the virus trouble. But that's a nice picture of a beefy, as they call it. When I flip it over like this, it turns into a welcome to London. We are. I love London. I heart London. Beef eaters in trouble. <laughs> oh, so that's right. It's a guardsman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a soldier who stands outside Buckingham Palace. Anyway, there's a nice little version of it. And the last one is back to the jungle scene again, which is a picture of Lionel, but half jungle and half circus. This is a elephant. It's sort of the idea of making his own shower, shower room. He's a personalised shower room, which is very nice. So, and what to turn into? It's a little troop of clowns all standing on each other's heads. Isn't that sweet? Well, the elephant now is in deep trouble. <laughs> so, it's a very nicely working version of the Jacob's Ladder. It's one of the nicest and smoothest ones I've come across because it's a slight curvature, I think. So, well done, the designers. I wish they'd make more of these. It's better. Going back to the square ones, and I've got two more to show which are both from uh, Carlisle, a, a company I see at New York Toy Fair, big chunky blocks of double thick glass of cardboard. And these are, the thing about this, it's not actually interesting to look at because um, it's just the moon's phases or something like that, or the earth phases. But the point about this is it's, uh, it's luminous. So in the dark, and of course it's not dark now, you can actually see this thing glowing away. So and it may, actually made a luminous, um, Jacob Ladder, which is very sweet, I don't know, very kind. And the last one to show is also from the same company, again, very chunky stuff. This is an educational thing to talk about the um, development of the frog, which is very interesting because it starts off as a little blob of, what do they call this? Oh, my name, Doug. Frog sport, that's right. It turns into tadpoles, and then this wonderful transformation, which took millions of years of evolution, but now happens in a a few days almost. So it's a nice little way of kids learning how the um, how the development occurs and the, the stages of it. But it's uh, educational, but at the same time it's a fun toy. You know, you could do all the side clips and that sort of stuff which kids would enjoy doing and making different letters and so on. So education and fun going together help people, kids to uh, to laugh themselves wiser. <laughs> so some very nice ideas, and I've got some more to show. Um, in the next video of the uh, Jacob Ladders. So they've done a lot of good work in it over the years, and I keep finding new ideas.